Hi dear students, welcome back to the class. The last video we have discussed about simple machine. So now you know about some terms of simple machines. What are the terms we have discussed? Yes, effort, then load, fulcrum, effort arm, then load arm, input energy, output energy, then what? Yes, principle of machine, then efficiency of machine, class mechanical advantage. Okay, so today we are going to discussing the another topic, types of simple machine. What? Types of simple machines. So, what are the types of simple machine? Anybody knows? Okay. See? Liver. Liver, inclined plane, pulley, wheel and axle, bridge and screen. So, these are the simple machines. Okay. So, the simple machines are six types. Okay. Here we are discussing six types of simple machines. Liver, inclined plane, pulley, wheel and axle, wedge and screw. Okay, clear? Yes. So, today we are going to discussing the first type of simple machine that is liver. What? Liver. Before going to uh, learn about this liver, you want to know our arguments. Mr. Archimedes said, give me a liver long enough. I can lift the other ways, move the world. Give me a liver it's long enough. I can move the world. Meet Mr. Archimedes of ancient Greece. Long ago, Archie said, Give me a lever long enough and I can move the world. What Archimedes meant was that the power of a lever is practically unlimited. Today, almost everyone uses some form of lever in his daily work. The familiar can opener is a lever with a sharp cutting edge. The playground seesaw is just a simple lever too. It takes a lot of force to start a freight car moving, yet the railroad man can start the heaviest freight cars easily with a pinch bar, a powerful lever which turns the wheel. Tough luck, old boy. Here's a place where a lever comes in mighty handy. Let's take the simplest kind of lever, a rigid bar working on a fixed support called a fulcrum. One end of this lever is twice as long as the other. Let's put a 10 pound weight on this end, and now we'll put half as much weight on this end. Five pounds, balance 10. If we have 25 pounds to lift, we just use a longer lever. The five pounds will now balance five times. So what does Archimedes mean? Because of the power of liver that is unlimited, okay? So in our everyday life, we are using what livers, almost all the things that's based on the liver, okay? In our body is also working on the working like what this liver, okay? Come to the topic, liver. What is liver? Yes, liver is a simple machine, okay? So what is liver? A liver is a rigid bar which can rotate about a fixed point okay liver is a rigid bar that is rotate about a fixed point is called what axis of rotation what axis of rotation okay so this point of rotation that is called as what fulcrum okay the point of rotation that is called as what? Fulcrum. Clear? 
yes see this is a liver okay this is liver so in case the effort is applied on the point a okay the effort is applied on the point a of the liver overcomes a load l that's representing at the point b okay so once again effort applied on the point a liver or at the liver overcomes a load that is the point b okay that is the point b and f f is what fulcrum f is what fulcrum okay so this is what liver this is what liver the distance of the fulcrum from the point at which the effort the distance of the fulcrum from the point at which the effort that is what effort arm otherwise simply we can set the perpendicular distance between the fulcrum to effort that is known as what effort arm okay perpendicular distance between the uh, fulcrum to effort okay fulcrum to effort that is known as what effort arm okay so this is what effort arm so a yes because effort that we are get the point a the point a okay so a f that is what effort arm okay the distance of fulcrum at the point of effort that is what effort arm okay and the distance of fulcrum at the point at this the point work load that is what load arm other means the perpendicular distance between the from the effort to load that is what load arm so here we have taken the load as b so this distance that is what bf that means load arm okay what does a load arm okay so once again the liver is effort at the center there is what fulcrum and another end act on a what load okay so the perpendicular distance between the fulcrum to effort that is effort arm otherwise the distance of the distance of fulcrum of the point at which the effort that is effort arm otherwise af because we have taken that effort as a okay and next is load arm the perpendicular distance between the fulcrum to load that is load arm otherwise the distance from the a distance from the for uh, fulcrum distance from the fulcrum of the point at which the load that is what load arm okay the load we are representing letter b so b f so a f okay so this is the word liver so what is liver liver is a rigid bar which is rotate about a fixed point or axis of rotation so this is called what fulcrum okay yes so now we are going to discussing the types of liver what types of liver liver classified into three on the basis of their a fulcrum load and effort hmm? first class liver second class liver and third class liver 
first order second order and third order okay so first one is first order before going to discussing this order you know in these three orders of liver the fulcrum effort and liver sorry load these are in different different in different levels okay yes before going to learn about the types of liver you want to know about what the principle of liver we know principle of machine yes what is the principle of machine principle of machine that is the output energy or is our output energy that is always equal to the input work output energy that is always equal to the input work that is what principle of machine okay so what is the principle of lever so the principle of lever that states that the product of the effort with effort arm is always equal to the load with load arm okay so the principle of lever that state what the product of the effort with effort arm that is equal to the load with load arm so in case of lever how so you know that load that is made l okay so l into load arm that is in case of lever we know that we have taken the load that is at the point b okay so here we have taken the point uh, taken what representing the letter b okay so load into multiply load multiply b f that means load arm that is equal to effort into effort arm e effort multiply effort arm that is a so a f okay so the principle of lever the load multiply load arm equal to effort multiply effort arm okay so l multiply b f equal to e multiply a f okay so l by e load upon effort that is equal to what see l upon e equal to comes here okay so l by e okay and bf that is going to the another side that is b f so l by e equal to af upon bf that means what a means effort arm upon load arm okay so l is what effort arm upon upon load arm so l e means what load upon effort so what is the principle of lever that is load upon effort that is equal to effort arm upon load arm okay so the mechanical advantage of lever is equal to the effort arm to the load arm okay mechanical advantage of the lever that is equal to the ratio of effort arm to the load arm which is known as what principle of lever okay the product of effort with effort arm that is equal to load with load arm and next we are going to discussing the types of levers okay first order second order and third order in this type of lever first order lever otherwise first class lever okay in this type of lever the fulcrum that is situated between the load and effort okay first class lever otherwise first order lever the fulcrum that lays between the 
other is lays in the center of liver fulcrum that lays in the center of liver and one end act on a effort and another end act on a load one end act on a effort and another end act on a load figure center that lays what the situated fulcrum okay and the this end act on a load and another end act on a effort the effort may be equal or less than or more than more than the load okay the effort may be equal or less than or more than the load so in this in in case the effort arm is more than the load in case the effort arm is more than the load the load arm a small effort is required to lift the load otherwise move the load in case the effort arm is effort is more than the load arm okay more than the load arm hmm? so very small effort that is required to move the load in other case effort arm is less than the load arm think about it. effort arm is less than the load arm so we need to require more what effort to lift the otherwise move the load okay so more more effort arm require very less amount of energy to lift the other is move the load okay very less effort arm require more amount of what energy to move the load okay so this is first class lever so the mechanical advantage of the first class lever that is more than one or less than one otherwise equal to one okay maybe this is greater than one otherwise this is less than one or equal to one okay yes so what are the examples of this first class lever see so crowbar and scissor hand pump okay so these are the examples of first class lever and next we are going to discussing the second class lever otherwise second order lever okay so the second class lever or second order lever the load see in second order lever the load is situated between the effort and fulcrum okay so this is what this is second class lever okay so second class lever the center lays what load and one end act on a fulcrum sorry effort and another end act on a fulcrum okay in this type of lever in second order lever the load arm load arm is always smaller than the effort arm this type of lever the load arm is always smaller than the effort arm always less effort is required to move an object otherwise move a heavy loads why because of the load arm is always less than the effort arm so effort arm is large more effort arm is more okay load arm is small so always very less amount of energy to require for what lift or lift the heavy loads okay this is second class lever second class lever in this type of lever load is situated between the effort and fulcrum okay and in this type of lever load arm is always smaller than the effort arm so which means what the effort arm is more 
of than the lodi okay so in this type of liver very less effort is required to move or lift the heavy load uh, heavy loads so the mechanical advantage is always more than one okay always more than one the mechanical advantage is always more than one because what it need a very less effort to lift the heavy loads okay example nut tracker wheel barrow you know that the wheel barrow otherwise in our trolley bags where is the load in the center where is the fulcrum think about this uh, trolley bag okay so this is what effort r and this is effort that is always you know that that is more okay and this is fulcrum this is fulcrum this is load and this is what effort so you know that very small amount of force we need to apply in case of this in case of this wheel barrow otherwise trolley bag and you can able to move large other is heavy loads with the help of trolley bag or wheel barrow okay and oars of a boat oars of a boat so these are some examples of what second class lever clear yes and now we are going to discussing the third class lever or third order lever so next we are going to discuss about the third order lever okay third order lever in third order lever effort that is situated between the load and fulcrum okay effort that is situated between the load and fulcrum in case of third class lever or third order lever okay effort is in the center and load act on one end and fulcrum that act on another end okay so in this type of lever that is effort is always smaller than the load arm effort arm is always smaller than the load arm so more effort is required to lift a object or is move an object okay or is load so third order lever effort that lies in center and load that act on one another end and f fulcrum that act on one end okay and effort arm is always smaller than the load arm so more effort is required to lift a load so this lever is also called as what speed multiplier lever as load move, moves to larger distance as compared to the effort okay so examples hockey sticks tanks fishing rod human forearm okay so these are the some examples of what third order lever the third order lever mechanical advantage that is always less than one okay why because we need to apply more effort to move the lighter object okay so these are the types of levers okay once again the first order lever first order lever the fulcrum that situated in between the load and effort okay first order lever first order lever fulcrum that is lies in center and one and load and another and effort okay so here the mechanical advantage that is may be equal to one other is less than one or greater than one okay and the second order lever second order lever load is in center okay load is in the center and one end act on effort and another end act on fulcrum 
that means load situated in between the effort and pulmon that is second class liver and in this type of liver load is always load arm is always smaller than the effort arm so which means we don't want to need uh, apply the more effort that means more energy okay the less energy that is less effort can able to lift the heavy loads okay example yes wheelbarrow nutcracker trolleys these are the examples okay and the next one the third order liver effort that is situated in between the load and fulcrum load and fulcrum okay in this type of liver effort is effort arm is smaller than the load arm okay effort arm is smaller than the load arm so more energy to require more energy required to lift a otherwise move a lighter object okay so in case of this first class liver in case of first class liver maybe the effort arm and load arm may be equal or less than otherwise more than the more than okay I hope all of you understood this topic. Okay, thank you.